Look at that, there I am. The Porto vlog from yesterday is now live. Just doing my final checks on it there as I've just uploaded it. And look, just doing an actual, a literal rain check on the day. It's a little bit glum out there. I'm hoping it brightens up a little bit later. Yeah, we're leaving Porto today, sadly, and we're heading to Braga. It's always been a dream of mine to watch Braga play at their home stadium. It really is like top 10 stadiums in the world. I've really always wanted to visit and see a game. That's a real shame about the weather. I really wanted to uh, see it on a bit of a nicer day than this, especially after Porto yesterday. I got told that, oh, regardless, I got told that um, people in Portugal don't come out and support their teams when it rains. So uh, yeah, hoping that it clears up a little bit. Um, in Braga, but their stadium is so unique. Liverpool played them in the Europa League. Oh, I think it might have even been the UEFA Cup. Now, it might be in the early days of the Europa League, you know, back in like 2011, 2012, around then. And I think they knocked us out. I think we drew 0 0 out there and then they won 1 0 at Anfield, or maybe the other way around, they won 1 0 out there and then drew 0 0 at Anfield. Yeah, I just remember their stadium and it's always one that. Hola. Uh, bon dia. <laughs> it's always one that uh, I thought I would love to go and see. It's so unique. I think they call it the quarry. It's built within like the side of a mountain. Um, yeah, it's uh, got two stands either side of the pitch along the touchline. But then behind the goals, I think it's like a mountain sort of quarry area. It's so unique. It is a, uh, yeah, there aren't many stadiums uh, that are like that around the world. Um, yeah, there aren't many stadiums like that that are, um, yeah, anywhere in the world, I don't think. But yeah, I'm getting a few weird stares from the, uh, from the Portuguese. I do just want to say a massive, massive thank you to FopMob for sponsoring the second video in a row, the second matchday vlog um, on the channel after Porto versus Leon yesterday and now Braga versus Monaco today. It's completely free and it's a fantastic app. It really does have, have some amazing stats. Let's have a look at some right now. Look at who's playing today. We've got Sevilla, the top, the uh, most times winners of the Europa League slash UEFA Cup and also Barcelona, Galatasaray, I've seen Galatasaray this season, and Rangers against Red Star Belgrade as well, as well as obviously Braga versus Monaco today. We can also have a quick look at some of the form. Look, Braga have won two of their last five, Monaco have won one of their last five, that was against Marseille, but Braga are unbeaten in four home games. And then what about the two of them, like their season so far? So Braga are fourth in uh, the Premier League in Portugal, Monaco are eighth in Liga 1, uh, in Liga 1. so um, yeah, I feel like the opposition's probably a little bit stronger in France than it is in Braga, so in Portugal, so it could be a bit of a tight game here today, but um, yeah, top link in the description box is to download FOTMOB, and the more people that can download it um, in these first two videos they sponsor, um, the likelihood is I might get sponsored again, and um, it's completely free, it's a fantastic app, and if you do use that link, it'll take you straight to the App Store, and they'll know it's come from this video, so it really, really supports the channel, some of the details you get in there are fantastic, so yeah, please support the channel in downloading FOTMOB. Cheers. Oh, we're in luck. Look at that. 12.20 to Braga. Next one that leaves. Right, we need to get ourselves a ticket. Braga, por favor. How long is the journey? One, one hour. One hour? Okay, cool. Three euro seventy five for one hour is a good deal. Yeah, it's a good deal. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. It's good. Yeah, especially I'm from England where the trains are very expensive. Obrigado. I must have eaten my weight in cheese and ham, toasties and baguettes, etc. Like and pastries over the last few days. But I'm trying another one. He wants the crumbs. Come on. He loves it. Look at him. It's not bad, is it? Give us a Thog Dad toasty review, Pigeon. <laughs> We've made it to rainy Braga. I need to find somewhere with Wi-Fi so I can check what the Airbnb situation is. No hotel tonight. Airbnb for me. So I need to find out the lockbox info. But I've forgotten my Airbnb password, so I can't log in on my phone, but it just automatically does it on the laptop, so I need to find Wi-Fi somewhere. Right, I found somewhere dry. 
for a minute. Look at this place. Avocado. Hola. Hola. Hello, sir. Superbock. Oh, yeah, Uma. Uma. Yeah, obrigado. Right, and so it seems like we are in Braga's greatest supporters bar. Look at this. I'm not. Who's that? Gaf Gaftense. And then look, there's a Braga squad. Fenerbahce's up there against Liverpool. There you go. That is the game which made me realise that Porto's uh, Braga Stadium was so incredible. We've got Shakhtar up there. Liverpool again. Celtic, there's a Celtic scarf there. Oh, I see Rangers as well. Let's go have a look at some of the scarves here. Look, Celtic Spurs, PSG. There's a Rangers hat. Rangers, you are a Braga supporter? Yeah. You all uh, support Braga? English. English, but I come to the for football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, Benfica, Braga. Oh, Benfica and Braga. Two, yes, yes, Benfica, both teams. Braga. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, red, red wine. Red, yes. Liverpool. Red. But Benfica and Braga both have beaten Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. And Best, Super Bowl. Yes, Super Bowl. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. So it seems that the uh, the old chaps of Braga come in this bar and play cards. They all have a table each one to about four of them. They play cards in like little tournaments. I'm not 100% sure what they're playing, but they come in here surrounded by the flags and the scarves of Braga to uh, to come play cards. Absolutely love it. And then here's me pre-vlog having the Super Bowl. This is what it's about for me. I don't just want to take you straight to the game, vlog the game. I feel like that's what I used to do back in the day, to go straight to a stadium. I'm not really showing you much around it. That's kind of what I did in my early days, but the more I've sort of... For me, the enjoyment is to come and see the city and the town and the people as well. Let's go to the football, and I hope that, that sort of comes across in the videos. So I hope you sort of enjoy seeing <laughs> a little bit just around the games as well. Adios. Ciao. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah? Obrigado. See ya. Bye bye. Thank you. Oh, what a lovely bar. Oh, there we go. There we go. We found them. I knew there'd be Union Bears stickers somewhere in, uh, in Portugal. What a cool little bar that was. Right. I'm going to find the Airbnb now. Look at what a tourist I look like in my poncho. My Porto poncho. All right. See you in a bit. Wow. I feel like uh, if the weather wasn't so bad, this place would be incredible. Actually, I'll, I'll be a bit more respectful. I won't leave my poncho on the floor. I'll just pop the old poncho on here for now. Look, we have an incredible little balcony here. Could you imagine if it was sunny? It's another absolutely miserable evening here in Northern Portugal, as you can tell. Got the old poncho back on, and I actually it was a sound investment for five euros outside of uh, the Dragao yesterday. Um, but just look at like, I'm sure like those views would be incredible on a nice sunny day. I've just come at the wrong time of year, obviously. Um, it's always a risk coming at this time of the year, but uh, I'm gonna have to come back. But yeah, bucket list moment is about to happen for me. I'm about to see Braga Stadium um, for the first ever time. Wow, look at this. We need to make our way up this. A little road here which is lined by these trees. Feels like you're entering a national park, not a stadium. I think I've been in the stadium like close to an hour already and I've not been able to chat to you guys. There's literally been music playing the whole time but now they're telling us about what's going to happen with VAR. I can tell you before the copyright music starts again. But it's just incredible to be here. Look, there's the old uh, thing over there. The quarry, the mountain. Right, the music's about to start again so I'll chat to you in a sec. But look, you see those like wires that are connecting the two stands. They are keeping this stadium up right now. I didn't actually realise but this again, like the Dragao in Porto, like Benfica Stadium and like Sporting Stadium, was built in time for the Euros in 2004. I think it was 
opened in 2003. So, yeah, an incredible stadium here. I usually think the new stadiums aren't that good, but this one is just phenomenal. This is already top three for me in the world. I'm, I'm just so happy to be here. Like, oh, what a place. But yeah, really cool atmosphere in here, and like I say, just an honour to be here. This geezer on the mic is loving it. And I'm really excited to see Voland and Ben Yedder up front for Monaco. Two brilliant players who have had great careers. And here's the uh, the Braga squad as well. Again, Fort Mob. Please download it. Top link below. Really supports my channel. Cheers. Nil to Braga, what a start. Please Braga, please Braga. Oh! Oh, oh, Braga again, back post. Oh, he was free at the back post. Rangers are currently winning as well. Tav with a penalty, standard, and uh, a pending goal for VAR, apparently, 13 minutes. <laughs> here as per usual wouldn't be a pretty adventure vlog without a bit of bar monaco score but i think it was well offside Ooh. and monaco have scored this time i think this one will count i'm pretty sure it's ben yedder who scored and there may be 100 200 or so monaco fans up there I'm loving it, but the Braga fans are cheering their team on, as you can see on the screen, one all now. Yeah, I think Ben Yedda with a goal, so scores are level again here. Yes, Ben Yedda with a goal, and it's a real shame actually, because uh, Braga have been so dominant. They've hit the post, keepers had to make a couple of saves from Monaco, could be 3-0 to Braga maybe. Um, obviously Monaco had one disallowed, but I'd say most of the game Braga have dominated, but one all now. Oh, hang on, VAR are going to look at it. I've seen a lot of VAR calls over the last couple of days. And they're looking at this one, and the ref is listening to his ear, and VAR is up there on the old broken screen. The screen's completely messed up. Oh, he's disallowed it! Oh, Braga! It's been disallowed. How many disallowed goals have I seen so far? They've had two disallowed here, Monaco. Porto had three bar decisions to go against him yesterday. Monaco have now had two, and the Braga fans over there are bouncing. Wow. Braga! Braga! It's louder in here than when they scored. This geezer's checking some stats for the Braga Monaco game right now. And look, he's saying to his mate, like, oh, what? You... These stats are rubbish. So I need a new app. If only he could download Fotmob, eh? Here we go. Go on, Braga. Go on, Braga. Oh! 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 Braga. It could be like four up, five up, honestly. Absolutely pissing down here again. It's come on and off, to be fair, but it's just started again, and it's right before half-time. We're into stoppage time in the first half here as Monaco go forward. I think Braga should get this clear. And half-time will be very soon. But yeah, unless anything happens, I shall see you in the second half at my new favourite stadium in the world. Right, the scarves are up around here. As the players come out, look at the Braga scarves coming up.
Oh, that whole section over there is rocking at the moment. Even this stand. It's quality. What a good little atmosphere they've got here at Braga. An amazingly supported club. The stadium's probably a little bit too big for the fan base, but still, really good atmosphere in here today. I wonder if they ever fill it out, Braga fans or Portuguese football fans. Do they really ever get a full stadium here? Um, I'd love to know. I've been here tonight and to see Braga win on a big European night you honestly cannot beat it look at the players clapping off the fans and the fans clapping off the players and all that what a good connection they must have with their team Right, look at this. I am back in the Airbnb now editing the vlog. Well, the vlog's actually done. I'm just doing my outro right now. Yeah, a massive thank you for being here with me. It's currently two or nearly two in the morning. Um, by the time it starts to render and I set it to upload, it'll be probably closer to three, to be honest. Please do remember to hit that like button. Um, as I've mentioned a few times in the last few vlogs, I do all my own editing, all my own traveling, all my own filming. I do my own thumbnails, everything. Um, is all just a one-man band and that usually results in me staying up till three in the morning um, doing my outro in the bed in my Airbnb so yeah please also download FopMob it really support the channel if you could it's free and it's right there in the top of the description box thank you so much we'll leave some videos on screen please do click on one to carry on watching cheers and I'll see you in the next one